What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are starting a brand new project. Let's check it out. All right, here we have a mongoose fat tire Walmart bicycle. We are going to be putting a motor on it. So let me go ahead and assemble it real quick. That's kidding guys, so we are indeed going to be putting a motor on this bike. I was very attracted by the uh, giant wheels it has on there, and this is the cheapest one they had, so I don't have too much regret cutting this thing up and putting a motor on it. So let me go ahead and show you what, uh, what my plans are. All right guys, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna make it a lot like that two-stroke shifter bike that I made a while back. And basically, we're gonna keep all this intact. We're gonna have the gear shifter. We're gonna have this chain, except for I'm gonna cut the pedals off. I'm gonna weld a new sprocket around this. And basically, put an engine right here, and we're gonna run the ch a jack shaft to the other side, and then a chain from here to our new sprocket. So also for this project, I'm gonna give you folks the choice of what engine to use. Or we can use this guy. Here's our choices. We can also do the Predator 212 if, uh, if you want me to snatch it off the bike that we just kind of finished in the previous video. Here's the advantage of using the Predator is we already have a clutch for it. It's uh, small, so we won't have to cut too much of the frame of the bicycle. And there's uh, most likely no problems with it, so I'm not gonna have to do much adjusting in terms of getting it running. On the other hand, we have our Briggs, which I like it because it's kind of nostalgic. It's older and uh, it'll, it'll create a cool look for the bike. On the second hand, we don't have a clutch for it. And I'm not gonna use belt drive. I'm sick of belts for now. Uh, like I said, yeah guys, it's your choice, so be sure to comment down below which engine you would like to see on our bike. So in the meantime, let me put a sprocket on here, let me set up a jack shaft, and then from there, in the next part, we'll be all set up to put a motor on and line it all up. Check it out guys, we have successfully put our gear onto the, uh, the bicycle here. 
basically all we have is two rag joints right there. I drilled some holes in the original gear, re-drilled some holes in this gear. As you can see, we have plenty of clearance with our chain. Thinking I'll have a jack shaft maybe right here or back here or maybe even right here. Just go like so. I think this is going to work out pretty good. Well, as you can see, guys, it's getting dark and I'm getting hungry. So I'm going to take a break and come back tomorrow morning and let's finish that jack shaft. Okay, folks, we have officially got a new gear and jack shaft hooked up to our fat tire motorized bike. So check this out. It is just nice and smooth for the most part. There's a little bit of play in this gear right here, which uh, is totally fine. We have a little bit of slack in the chain to uh, compensate for that, but I think this is going to work wonderfully. And it's pretty sweet. We got the jack shaft mount kind of hugging the frame. So we got a lot of uh, surface area to weld it. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is going to be it for the first part of our homemade fat tire motorized bike. I appreciate you watching. If you like the video, be sure to subscribe and like and do all that stuff. Oh, and like I said, guys, be sure to vote on what engine you want to be on that motorized bike. I'm leaning towards the uh, 79cc just because it's a lot easier to fit it on that little bike. So, well, until next time, I'll see you later.